we're almost at an hour. We should probably do grabs. Let's do it. Huh? Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. I have to, I have things. Okay. You want to start, Christina? Yeah, I will. Okay. So the first one I wanted to, I have two, actually. The first I wanted to talk about is Carbon Copy Cloner 7, uh, which uh, I missed. I didn't realize that 7 um, uh, came out a couple weeks ago. Um, this is the the app that I have used. I, I used to either use this or Super Duper, but I've been using Carbon Copy Cloner as kind of my backup app um, for Mac Same. OS for uh, at least a decade at this point. And um, uh, Carbon Co uh, Copy Cloner 6 came out, I think, about two years ago. Um, I'd have to look and see um, when, when the update was. But um, this is um, uh, the interface is the same as Carbon Copy uh, Cloner 6. Um, and if uh, one of the nice things about how they've done the upgrade, the upgrade I think is 25 bucks for um, for existing um, uh, owners, and I think it's like $50 now for for new um, uh, licenses. But one of the nice things about how I like the um, the way that the new version trial works out is you can try the new version, but if you don't want to buy it, if you don't want to keep it, you can just immediately go back to, to version six. Um, it, it won't mess anything up um, for you that way. Uh, but one of the things that this has added is it's added a feature um, that I haven't used because I don't know how useful it would be for me, but it has like a, a, the ability to backup files and media from your iOS devices on your Mac. Hmm. And um, it and it also um, you know has now um, a more uh, more snapshot uh, abilities in terms of uh, for, for for local snapshot management, um, and so um, I don't like Time Machine, and I've I've had problems with Time Machine over the years, and also Time Machine just isn't always like doesn't fit my my mental model well. Like I feel like if I'm doing network backups, I use Synology's stuff for that. Like I I, I you know Time Machine is just. Uh, I, also, if you enable it, then like if the local things are turned on, then those can take up tons of hard drive space. And and Mac OS is not good with caching, period. So that is so, really not a good thing. Sorry, go on. I'm a super duper guy. Mm -hmm. um, have been for years. Why why would I switch to Carbon Copy Cloner? If I can be completely candid, it's because it's more updated. It's it's it, they, they they are much better about updating things and like working around weird stuff that happens in like the file system. Do they do AFPS snapshots? Oh yeah, yeah. Which is one of the things I love about newer versions of Super Duper is snapshots. Um, yes. Like I use a combination of Super Duper, Backblaze, um, uh, Time Machine, and Synology Drive. Yeah. Um, and between those four, I can use unless every once in a while I'll accidentally delete. It happened one time. I downloaded our um, podcast episode. Didn't download it. We were recording with like uh, Audio Hijack. I think I was using, and I accidentally deleted the files permanently. Mm. And it was too soon for any of my backup systems to have picked it up and and backed it up and i it i felt very impotent having four different backups running and still having lost an hour worth of audio yeah um but in general i never lose anything that is more than half an hour old i definitely have versions and backups of yeah i'm not that good but like i i, I typically use i don't use time machine but I, I typically use the other things i would say this if super duper works for you there's no reason for you to use something else but i know that super duper has been uh, slower to update to the latest mac os versions and yeah. that they had some some um, more difficulties both both of these companies because both of the developers i think you know are friendly with one another and work together like they are, there were some changes to how file system handling worked um for, for me it really just came down to like when i because I, I i've used them both it just came down to when i was looking at which one to invest in it was like whenever i made the decision however long ago it was um the carbon copy cloner seemed to have a little bit more robust and, and a little more frequent um dev cycle yeah. but all right you know but, but if it works for you it works for you but yeah um but it does do all the the um you know apfs snapshot stuff and it, and it does it for 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 backup versioning as well um and um uh, I don't know. I, I, I like it. It's just one of those things that I, I have, you know, licensed to that I keep. Like when I had to use, um, when I had to do that ridiculous backup of my mom's computer um, a few months ago, like Carbon Copy Cloner was the thing that came yeah. in clutch for that. 